man, God been nudging me, man. Luckily, I'm a YouTuber, man. I'm used to being on camera, man. But I'm not here to promote my YouTube channel in any type of way or form or fashion. God, a light, a light that really shine, shine bright on me, Father God. This is my first time. And I'm feeling nudging right now, man. God is nudging somebody. I feel like my blessings in a way, how God did with me is tied with myself also. But I feel like God is nudging somebody, man. God is nudging you, man. If God been telling you to do something, like he been telling me for the last month, you need to start doing it, man. Whatever God is telling you, man. That's, that's all I got to say, man. I'm kind of new at um, reading my scriptures on here and just leading people to Christ. You know, God guide me, Father God. If, if this is my will, you know, to have faith, man. We we going to learn together, man. Have faith in Jesus Christ, man. Have faith that what God is telling you to do, he's telling you to do. Okay, I hope this message is for someone. You know, I'm not, you know, the Bible says don't preach on the street corners. I'm not trying to look like nobody. I'd rather do this. God know himself. I'd rather be out here walking in these streets, saving people. Like I preached to a lady the other day. It's, it's, it's not about that, but I'd rather be out in the open and do it. But I would like to do an opening like this, but God was, a lady got on me this morning. I was watching a prophetic video, and she said, if God is nudging you to do something, don't worry about what other people think. And that's what I was thinking. Like, you know, I worship God out loud. Everybody knows this now. You know what I'm saying? I, my story can go a long way. Me and you guys, I have to catch up. We will have to catch up, man. I came a long way from grinding. I mean, from just having faith, man. I, I was sleeping in parking lots, you know, trying to get jobs and standing out at home deep, deep, depot. The lows couldn't afford a haircut, didn't have nothing in my pocket. Um, when God really started, you know, I've been praying and fasting, and God just been giving me jobs. So now it's time for me to work for the Lord, and I'm like, God, you want me to get on video right now? And the girl said, I mean, the prophetic video said, you, God, won't you, you might save somebody today. Like, I'm, I might not be good at this, but we're learning together. You guys are going to grow with me. We're going to grow with Christ together. You know? Because, hey, man, I'm still learning. You know? I'm still learning. I'm still in my early stages, but I've been through a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm trying to refrain from you, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm sick. But let's get into this word, man. Let's get into this word. Let's, let's, let's not get sidetracked. But, as you see, God been nudging me because... It says sermon right here. I got a couple things that God been wanting me to read. Let's just get into it, man. So, um, <clears throat> the armor of God. Put on your armor of God. <clears throat> Finally, be strong in the Lord. In his mighty power, put on the full armor of God. So that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. But against the rulers. Against the authorities. Against the powers of his dark world. And against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. We not. We not wrestling with flesh and blood. We not. You can't argue or fight or punch a demon in the face. You gotta put on that armor of God, man. You gotta plead the blood of Jesus. You can't shoot a demon. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta put on the armor of God. It's, you can't see these things. And this is why you need to put on the armor. This is why you need God. But there, therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes on you, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm. You know, stick out your chest, man. Stand firm. Then with the belt of truth buckled wrapped, wrapped around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness 
that comes from the gospel of peace. <clears throat> In addition to all things, to all this, take up the shield of faith. Well, I feel my, my, my nose like God working on me right now. Look at the sun. Y'all, yeah, I'm sick. My nose just went, you know, it just, drown, it just drained on me. I can smell. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, man. And what I was, don't distract me, devil. Okay. And with your feet were written in this, that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows <laughs> of the evil one. <clears throat> Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. <clears throat> and pray in the spirit on all occasions. <clears throat> God bless me in the comments. In Jesus' name, I rebuke that the enemy will not stop nothing. <clears throat> ah, Y'all pray for me. The helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Lord, put this shield around me. <clears throat> Allow me to speak clearly, Lord, for at least till I finish this video, Lord. <clears throat> In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke the, <clears throat> the arrows that Satan is throwing at me right now. <clears throat> In this sickness, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to use this as an example. I got my prayer sash with me. Let me put this on, Lord. Let me finish this, Father God. And allow me to get this word out as it needs to be. Calm the waters, Lord, in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions. Pray in the spirit, man. If you don't pray out loud, pray in the spirit. You know, even if you at work, if you're not a person that want to, if you're scared to pray in front of me, pray in the spirit, man. Pray in your mind. Pray in your heart. And you got to have faith. You know? <clears throat> so pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me. That whenever I speak, words may be given. Wow. Given me. So that I will fiercely make known to the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fiercely as I should. The enemy will not stop me. I'm going to finish this. The enemy will not stop me. I am going to see past this in Jesus' name. My God want me to get out here. You think... <laughs> I'm supposed to get sick and turn on this camera. Oh, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. Let's read another one, y'all. A time for everything. <clears throat> and I hope that this is reaching somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a time for everything. This is Ecclesiastes 2.16, verse 3. <clears throat> a time for everything. There is a time for everything and a season for it. Every activity under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear, a time to build. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search, and a time to give up, a time to keep. Look at the enemy putting a headache in my mind right now. I rebuke this in the mighty name of Jesus. I will get past this. A time to search, a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend, a time to be silent, a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. That's Ecclesiastes 2.16. Chapter 3. My bad. If I'm reading that right. I say Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Hey man, I'm still learning, man. But uh, we're going to get through this and I'm going to say one quick thing.
There's a time for everything, man. Don't, when you cry, don't get mad at God. I've been praying all week. Why am I sad? It's your season to be sad. It's your season. Sometimes God, or when you sick, like right now, probably God want me to chill, relax. Maybe I haven't been praying all week. Maybe it's my time to pray and rekindle with the Lord. You know, maybe it's my time to strengthen my faith. It's a time for everything. When people die in your life, it may sound cool, but it's a time for everything. God has a reason for everything. When God slow you down in traffic, don't go, man, forget this, man. Ah, God, why are you doing this to me? I got to go to work. I've been trying, Lord, I've been trying. I need to go to work, Lord. I got to pay for my bills. I got to do this. No, God is slowing you down because it's an accident up the road. And you need to sit your butt down. You need to sit your butt in line. Sit behind that slow car. I mean, I never forget me and my, um, me and my future wife. We engaged. I never forget that time when we was driving from Auburn. And we got, it's a lot that happened, but I, I say that for another video. But I never get that time we drove from Auburn. And I pray this is reaching somebody. <clears throat> I'm a visual learner. And I have ADHD also, but I don't claim that. I call it a daily, heavenly download. But now I'm getting on track. See? Okay, but me and my wife, it was a bad thunderstorm. The enemy was trying to get us to, you know, crash, man. But I was telling my wife, like, I think we need to slow down. Just before it, it, it had happened, I said, I think we need to slow down. And some of y'all got discernment out there. That little feeling you feel, ask God to strengthen your discernment. But I was feeling that we need to slow down. So it started raining real bad. And then, um, it was raining like, dude, too. We couldn't see, man. It was raining so bad. And, um, my wife was trying to get around this 18-wheeler, but the car was moving. And, like, we, man, it was like we was going to swerve or something. But I was like, baby... Listen to me, baby. We need to get behind this 18 woman. You know, she she ambitious. She, you know, she's smart and she, you know, she got that drive. She's like, I'm gonna get through this. You know, but as a woman, she listened to her man. And then she understood. I said, baby, I think we need to get behind this 18 woman truck, baby. I'm telling you, we can't see the devil, the enemy is trying to use that that everything against you to get try to get past this truck. It ain't meant for us to get past this truck. And I felt in my heart to tell her to get behind that slow truck and look at the back of that slow truck. Because it's big. We can see it. And he's going to lead us out the rain. And show sure enough, he did. So I'm saying, man, you got to have on the armor, God. And you got to know when the time. You got to know when it's the time. Use your discernment. You got to have faith. You know? And I ain't trying to preach, but this is my first time. And I've been posting made this video. And God been getting on my butt, y'all. God been getting on my butt. He's not going to give up on you. So I'm trying my best to share as much as with you guys for my first video. I'm trying my best, you know. I'm really trying my best, man. man. I'm really trying, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just hoping this reach somebody. And I'm a solutionist. And I over, I overdo things, you know. So I really love you guys. And I really want you guys to be led to Christ. Yeah, that was, a, that was an example of faith, and that was an example that it was a time and a place. It was a time that I needed to be a man and tell my wife, hey, get behind the truck. It was a time to have faith and pray and listen to God. It's a time for everything, man. It's a time why God slowed down traffic, why you didn't make it to work, or why this happened to you. It's a time for it. So I hope that helps somebody. I'm going to read one more. And um, that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm not going to overdo it. My job ain't to overdo it. My job ain't to overdo it, man. I want to do what God... It says stop right here. No, I ain't going to read that. I'm feeling my spirit. I'm, I'm going to stay on track. We're going to read that next time. Um, Where am I supposed to go? Like... Okay, right here. All right, y'all. I'm going to read some things to y'all. Um, hopefully this is for somebody, but a wicked person earns deceptive, deceptive ways. But the one who sows righteousness reap a sure reward. In Jesus' name. 
Truly the righteous attain life, but whoever pursue evil find death. The Lord detests those whose heart. hearts are perverse, but he delights in those whose ways are blameless. Be sure of this. The wicked will not go unpunished. Whoever did something to you, they will not go unpunished. The wicked will not go unpunished. But those who are righteous will go free. Be sure. Okay, I already read that. Like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman who shows no discretion. The desire of the righteous ends only in good, but the hope of the wicked only in wrath. One person gives freely, yet grains even more. Another without withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes the other will be refreshed. So be kind. And I'm going to finish reading these guys that I got marked. And that's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to leave y'all guys with some wisdom. Give y'all some water with y'all juice. Some water with y'all food. You know? Whoever seeks good finds favor. But evil comes to one who searches for it. I'm going to read that one more time. I feel it must be. I need to discern. I need to read that one more time. Whoever seeks good finds favor. But evil comes to one who searches for it. If you're in astrology and you're searching for zodiac signs, get out that zodiac signs. You're searching for evil. You're attracting evil. You know, get out of mess. Get out of gossip. When you do that stuff, you're attracting it. Let me get some water with your food. One more time. I, got, I feel like I need to read that one more time. Whoever sees good finds favor, but evil comes to those who searches for it. Clear as that. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and the one who is wise saves lives. I like that one. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. Oh, hold on now. I ain't say that. God said that. He said, whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Better to be a nobody and yet have a servant than pretend to be somebody and have no food. I'm a YouTuber, man. I'm a quick story. I'm a YouTuber. And um, I just recently, I just recently stopped doing secular videos. I put my link in the description or in the comments, but I only do vlogs, cooking cooking videos. I don't do no secular videos, man. I'm done with chasing clout. I don't want to chase clout. I just want to be a positive influence, and I just want God's favor to shine down on my life, and I pray the same for you. But I had to I had to get rid of that stuff, man. I couldn't worry about trying to be famous and trying to get rich and make my money and do this. I had to focus on what God wants me to do, so I let all that stuff go. I don't care if I look lame. I don't care if I look cool. Look, I'm going to be in heaven at the end of the day. I don't care how lame I look. And I'm sorry if I'm talking long. And I pray if I could just get one person to just see my heart. And I just get, if I could just get one person, man, to Christ and to, to help y'all today. It don't matter about how long this video is. I just read this scripture. And I'm worried about, how, I'm worried about people saying, I'm going to click off this video. But this ain't for you. If this is for you, it's for you. What God has for you, no man can take from you. I want you to know that. Get this message. I'm going to be done, man. Um, But better to be a nobody and yet have a servant than to pretend and be a somebody and have no food. Lord Jesus, I hope y'all call me. The righteous care for the needs of their animals, but the kindness acts of the wicked is cruel. Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasy have no sense. One more time. Those who work their land will have no, will have a abundant food, but those who chase fantasies have no sense. God said it, not me. Those, okay. From the fruit of their lips, people are filled with good things, 
and work of their hands bring them rewards. So all that work you're doing, God's going to bring you a reward. The way of the wise seem right to them, but the wise listen to advice. It don't matter how wise you seem, but you always listen to advice. You can never be a know-it-all. Always be willing to put yourself in a position to hear from the Lord. Always put yourself in a position to, to seek wisdom. Don't ever feel like you know it all. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue only lasts for a moment. No harm overtake the righteousness, but the wicked have their fear of trouble. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to get this video out. Y'all really feel clear right now. And the enemy mad. <coughs> Two shots to the enemy. Bye-bye. All right. The lazy do not roast any game, but the diligent feed on the riches of hunt. One person pretends to be rich. Yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor and yet has great wealth. Don't chase riches, man. God is going to make you rich. If you made it to this far, man, God is going to make you rich. If it's in his will. One person pretends to be rich and yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor and yet has great wealth. Amen. A person rich is made ransom their life, but the poor cannot respond to threatening rebukes. I just said something about the same. I hope you caught that. This honest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. Be patient. Everything I'm telling you, like, be patient. I'm feeling God want me to tell you. <clears throat> Good judgment wins favor. But the way of the unfaithful leads to their destruction. Trouble pursued the sinner, but the righteous are rewarded with good things. A good person leaves an inheritance for their children. Their children, children. But a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. You're going you're gonna to be a blessed person, man. Blessed. Walk in your favor so that your kids may have generational wealth. Create assets. Whoever spares the rod hates their children, but the ones who love them discipline them. And that's all I'm going to read today, man. I hope you got this word today. If I only got one person, let me pray for you real quick, Father God. The person that stayed to the end of this video, Lord, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, that you get them seven days, Father God. Seven days, Father God, that, that they will see a miracle or a sign from you, Father God. Those who need your help, Father God. Those who've been heartbroken and hurting, Father God. Repair their heart, Father God. Those who know they been need to go to church, Father God, and they haven't been going. Those who know, Father God, they need to be preaching your word and sharing your word, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you nudge them, Father God, like you nudge me. In Jesus' name, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you guide these people, Father God, to the land of milk and honey, Father God. I pray, Father God, that their assets grow. I pray for the people who can't pay for their bills. I pray for the people who are chasing their dreams and working hard, Father God. I pray for those who are ready to leave their nine-to-five job, Father God. I pray, Father God, that people can work with no sorrow. In Jesus' name, Father God, I pray for those who are sick right now, Lord Jesus. Lift them up right now, Father God. But, Lord, I pray... For that one person, Father God, that's watching this video, Father God. I pray, Father God, that, that you guide them and that you grow with them, Father God. And that in seven days, Father God, that they receive a miracle, Father God. I pray that person who need to leave their job, that they get a better job, Father God. With no sorrow intended, Father God. I pray that somebody get a check in their mail, Father God. I pray that somebody get a blessing, Father God. And they come back to this video and they come in. In Jesus' name, Father God, that it have that it have been done. In Jesus' name, Father God. And I also want the person who's just looking for forgiveness, who lost, Father God, who's trying to find his way. I pray, Lord, that this video bring him to Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, everything is so bright right now. I can see like it feels different. My phone looks different. The quality. In Jesus' name, Father God, the way you shine on me, Father God, shine on their life, Father God. A matter of fact, Father God, let the sun shine on them, Father God, and let them be a sign. Come into the video of the sun shine on you, Father God. 
I mean, on you. In Jesus' name, Father God, I pray this video reach somebody. I'm sorry it was so long. It wasn't my intentions, but I can't apologize. But I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. And if you didn't hear it, you didn't hear it. But I pray for you, brother. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Put my YouTube link in the description.